Welcome everyone to my new workshop where I'll continue to assemble Quadra VTech from Cyberpunk 2077. There was a small delay with the video as I've got certain things to do and also to make some renovation in the attached area to the main workshop. As I've mentioned in the last video the old workshop is small for this car and I'll transfer it in the new one which much bigger than previous. And the old workshop will be used for other projects or for example for frame welding. All details as last time I'll fix to the supporting wooden framework. While the model assembly I'll use special glue which will stick all parts together. For convenience I decided to stick rear fenders together separately, and as it's become clear later it wasn't absolutely correct as everything is better to assemble in place. Everything will be much smooth and the following details will be normally joined. While they were drying up I began to assemble a luggage boot from the foam elements. All the elements have to be strict in the level then the model would be stuck together correctly without any protrusive details. Now it is possible to paste the rear fenders. During the assembly of such models a laser level is just a replaceable thing as in the program for cutting of 3D model everything was cut strictly vertically and horizontally and it has to be assembled in the same way. After the rear part one began to assemble an average one also on a wooden framework which have strengthened with struts from the last time. I began with a roof. In the process I fixed the fails I've made in the first part I unevenly stuck the top part together among itself. The problems began on the right side during work. I couldn't manage to join the door arch normally. On the left side everything fitted perfectly. I began to measure all sizes and surprisingly everything coincided. But all the same the door element couldn't plug in as it was needed. I decided to make a template from the left door for masking tape and to put it to the right one to understand what doesn't approach after all. The door detail was too highly joined because of the incorrect perimeter cutting. Most likely that while cutting the spindle for some reason was displaced and cut out this element incorrectly. I lowered the rejected detail by a couple of centimeters, and as it seemed everything approached well, and even the other size which also did not correspond. I decided not to remake this element, I'll correct this defect later with sealing foam, and now I'll continue my assembly. The door side elements were cut out with small inaccuracy near a threshold. Maybe even at that moment the driving belt began to be torn. I noticed this defect only when the machine began to cut absolutely wrong. After sticking of side parts one had to cut the lower part of a threshold a bit. The glass elements perfectly fitted the width of the resulting aperture so everything gathered well by size. All was left was a front part. I made a missing wooden framework for it and pasted it over with foam details.
One more curved structural element which is not really difficult to correct with sealing foam. While cutting on the NC the machine it turned out that the bumper was reflected and the plate with the number appeared on the other side. Don't know maybe I'll reflect it in the opposite direction but for now I'll leave it so. I assembled all details but there were not enough some elements of the front fenders and rear expanders yet. I cut these details also from the polyfoam on the NC machine and pasted them on their places. I decided not to paste rear expanders as I'll remove them and make separately from body. To complete the view, I also cut wheels. By the way I think they will be useful too as it'll be hard enough to find such discs and we can stick together caps for metal discs according to the wheels model. The rear will turn out to be just huge, and will need even 4 such pieces on the rear bridge, and therefore there will be a huge subspring mass. I also made S front wheel. Now all the elements are on their places, and the entire thing looks just great. There is not enough only a back spoiler which I'll have probably to print on the 3D printer. There are lots of holes and craters in the model which I'll correct in several steps. The first step will be a rough rework by the sealing foam. The boards become unsteady at the slightest touch, so we need to fix them to the framework. I made it using foam supports and sealing foam. Now everything is all right. I want to try finishing putty in the body rework which remained after repairs. If I won't manage to save I'll buy normal two component car putty. I'll make a trial covering and we'll let it dry. For now thanks everyone for watching and support. Put your thumbs up and leave comments. Thanks everyone again. See you in the following part.